Um, but at the same time, the producers hit me up like, are y'all putting this out? So the streets made me came up out of nowhere. Because Streets Made Me had been pulled down off wow. lines for a long time. So out of nowhere, a version of the street made, made me come up. No display picture, no nothing. Um, I called my people on the phone like, what this about? He's like, we about to get it took down. When they find out, it's somebody from Dubai. Whoa. Mm. Like my brother music at first when they were streaming on YouTube, mm -hmm. it was a nigga that lived in a hut in India. Wow. Making hella money off my brother's shit. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. Um, when you when you think about your brother and all the stuff that he done for all these artists that be using his music and and really living off their legacy of his music, what do you think about that? Just basically, he did a lot of music with a lot of people, changed a lot of people's lives. At first, I felt a way about it, but now, e, I feel like God gonna always make your enemy your footstool. So the Come things that now. people do for evil, it's gonna always turn around. He gonna turn it to good. Like it's gonna always turn around. Look at look at my brother' birthday, Master Pete. Posting him. God gonna always make your enemy your footstool. They gonna, they like gonna, they, people who probably never talked to you before you was dead, they gonna, you know what I'm saying? When they see the world enjoying you, they gotta enjoy you too. They gotta celebrate you just like everybody else. And do anybody respectfully that that's using and playing and making benefits off streams off your brother money, does does any of that come back to you guys at all? Oh, I cut their water short. E, ain't no, ain't no, <laughs> they're making money. Why? Ain't nobody doing that. What you mean? Really? I would collect it. Oh. Yeah, you got this on there. I pulled them all down. You pulled them all down. They had way more soldiers than them. Everybody like you took one by one. You know that ain't you. Give me so that. You back. took all of the all of them. That it was way. Their music was upstream and they were making yeah, money. Like they iTunes, wasn't respecting. A lot Apple of people music was doing for that. years. And they didn't know. And you came from out of nowhere and was like we taking that. that down. Give me that. Was there any? They could have made it right by trying to pay it you. They wasn't or? trying to. Like when we went to go like. When we went to go in, like, cause we was gonna leave them up and just that's our money. Yeah. But they they were trying to collect hundred percent off something that wasn't theirs. So the producers, I was unaware. I'm thinking when the songs are out in the beginning, I'm thinking it's maybe it's the producers. That is their beat. So I can't be mad about a nigga. You know that's their beat. They won't make their money back. Um. But at the same time, the producers hit me up like, "Are y'all putting this out?" So the streets made me came up out of nowhere. Cause streets made me had been pulled down off wow. lines for a long time. So out of nowhere, a version of street made made me come up. No display picture, no nothing. Um, I called my people on the phone like, "What this about?" He's like, "We about to get it took down." When they find out, it's somebody from Dubai. Whoa! Mm. Like my brother music at first when they were streaming on YouTube, mm -hmm. it was a nigga that lived in a hut in India. Wow! Making hella money off my brother's shit. I would snatch it all down. So when and you then, snatch it down, can you go back and get the money that was owed to you? We have to sue the people because Apple, okay. of course, we have to go through them and get their information because we're going to do uh, all of them. The people in the Indian and the Hut, we're going to do the Dubai people. We have to do the people that had uh, Thug Brothers as well. Like all those things, all that we have to because it was blocking it. Like I couldn't even put my brother mu uh, music back on streaming because no. they had broken made it, it down like and it made theirs. like mixtape and saying it was theirs. So we had to, yeah, it's, they had to pull when I put years later so the original years later is no label at all that was primarily just my brother's album that was his own money that they put behind it years later years later a few months after is Koch 2 and him but the original years later the first one that came out that had the original tracks it was nobody else that was his full album mm. somebody was collecting everything when we put it on there wow. they pulled it down because they sent the fucking thing to say that they own it Mm. I told my people go ahead and tell them they can wrap that one up because they can fight that. Yeah, that ain't that ain't you, partner. Made them come on off that. So yeah. they had to take theirs down. They we had to take theirs down to get ours back up. But how long did it take you to fight all that? this? All this has been going on for years. But once I came into the fact and started doing shit like this, been going on probably pulling down probably about a year now. Okay. The pulling down and putting back up. So um, now we doing because now they found a way to go around and they try they collecting off Magnolia Slim. Wow. So I'm coming get that too. Wow, and and, and and your brother would be so proud of you. Oh, you know, always. That's why I say in the song he talks about all that. He yeah. talks about he was like, You I know you gonna handle my business and you got to know that. Did you cry? Wow. I haven't I try not to like think that yo, know, I don't like to I've heard bits and pieces of it. So like I'm just really So you haven't it. heard the whole no, thing. Yet. I'm too emotional. I know you are. I'm too I, emotional. I agree with that. Like I, I can't do it. Like even videos, like I don't But I'd wanna hear it to hear all the things he said about me. I wanna hear it, but I just wanna take it in there my own time. Okay. Got like it. I just want to take it in at my own time, like because it's just that special. It's just 
that moment with me and my brother. Yeah. What, what do you say when you hear him compare your brother to Tupac? I love it. Because I feel like he's that good. Wow. I feel like he's that good. I feel like my brother is like a prophet. Like, who would have known that 20 years later you've been dead, even before your time of being dead, you knew this world. You knew the justice system. You dealt with the justice system and the injustice in the justice system where you can make songs like Soldier Life Mentality and when people like George Floyd died, it'd be just that big that they're using this record. Like, that's big. Mm -hmm. Like, Trayvon Martin, we've seen a lot of it with Trayvon Martin and that's when I knew, like, his power and how big he was in this world. Wow. The <clears throat> the thing because injustice I, will forever keep going. It will. That's the thing. Yeah, but you just have to have somebody like him on the inside to tell you how it feels to be on the other side. Right. You know what I'm saying? We know about it, but how does it feel to be a part of it? Like, even with that Tyreek Hill yeah. you know, situation, yeah. like, I listened to a man on the radio, it's like, well, what he was supposed to do, why, I get what he was supposed to do, but why is it that much that we have to change our lives, change how we react because the police are the way that they are. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, well, he should have kept his, like, why he has to, you know what I'm saying? He got to adjust who he is because the police are being conniving and corrupt. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. why black men got to worry about going home? Like, that shouldn't be a, a subject that we talk about. Like, it's right. It's not right. The police shouldn't do that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.